Hey friends, it's your girl Rochelle once again in the building with this individual who calls himself Frankie. Yes, 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 I'm in the building and <laughs> and I'm ready for today's reaction. What you got for us? Today's post is all about commitment. Oh. Do people commit to one another anymore? What's that all about? Huh. Can anybody stay committed? Okay, well, you got the post queued up? Let's get the post going. All right, let's go. Having a great connection with someone I met a few weeks ago. It's the total package. Values, interests, vibe, and sexual chemistry. They clarified they can't see themselves finding an emotional connection like this with someone else. But they are clear they want to remain open to meeting others. I can't tell if it's baggage from their previous relationship or something else. I'm not necessarily looking to get married again, but I wonder if this is what people just do. Say they are non-exclusive so they don't look like an asshole later. Or should I just ditch the labels and live more in the moment? I don't really have time to juggle multiple people. Oh boy. Mm. A-I-T-A. Am I the you know mm -hmm. what? Commitment, you know. My goodness. My, uh, let me let me kick. <laughs> I, I'll kick this out because you know we have to, we have to we have to be a little bit fancy here. Under, yeah, you have uh, to be so uh, uh, sophisticated with under, your answers. And under, under, so go ahead, go ahead. Understanding mm -hmm, mm -hmm. modern dating trends. Where are we going to go with this? <laughs> um, <laughs> dating, y'all, sure has changed. Um, yes, it has. It's understandable to see how she's she's <laughs> feeling frustrated, uh, mm -hmm. but remember. I don't care how you feel. And my personal freedoms is my priority. Mm -hmm. And there are some people, men and women and yeah. whatever in between, mm -hmm. that their freedom is their luxury. Yeah. And you can't tell them any different. So I hear how it, it's kind of wild how dating has evolved. But don't lose hope. There are still plenty of people out there that I, I think are looking for something oh, yeah. meaningful. But you know, I, I, now, now, now I'll come up with my, 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 my fonsiness and let oh, you let, oh, let you oh, try okay. in. No. All right. You mean you want to come to the, to the real side. I get it. You just don't <laughs> want to say it, but that's okay. Uh, people are, I don't know. This commitment <laughs> thing has been, uh, it's crazy to see the way people date mm -hmm. these days. But with commitment comes responsibility. And a lot of people don't want to be responsible mm. for how someone mm. feels. <clears throat> mm. <laughs> mm. They don't want the responsibility Woo. of that person's feelings or, to, or, or anything. I might have to take a button down. On it's, getting, <laughs> it's getting hot in here. And, and that's just, let's just start there, ladies and gentlemen. Let's just start there. In order for you to be fully committed to someone, in order for you to be fully invested, fully engulfed in a mm. relationship, you are now setting yourself to be responsible for how this person feels, responsible for the love in the relationship, responsible for a multitude of things. That's We talked about that umbrella in a, in a couple of other shows we did prior to this one. That umbrella, commitment, mm -hmm. that's the big word up here. Underneath that umbrella... You have responsibility, you have love, you have trust, you have commitment, mm. you have all these things underneath that umbrella. But the question is, is can you handle it? Do you want to be responsible for that? Because let me tell you something, commitment is an adult action. It's not for the faint at heart. It's not for kids. It's not for people who want to, like they say, explore. Listen, this is my freedom up over here. You can't come over here all in my space and tell me who I need to be committed to. I can be committed to him, her, them, they, she, whoever I want to be committed to. This is my personal life. You can't tell me what to do with it. And those people, my dear, aren't looking for commitment. That is not a commitment thing mm. for them. They aren't interested in being committed. So if you're looking for that old school flavor, you know, we... We this this um love and basketball type thing. We fall in love. We dated in school. We've built this thing, and now we you know we're we're married now. We got this love thing going on. If that's what you're looking for, I'm not a hundred percent sure you're gonna find that in today's dating climate. Now, granted, there are some people out there who are ready to do this. They are ready, schmetty. Commitment. Let's do it. Kids, house, love. Building healthy relationships, building finances, you know, well, I'm ready to build. I'm ready to do this. But for those who aren't, I'm sure the flags, the red flags are very clear. Don't overlook those. 
I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I completely checked out on everything <laughs> she was just saying. All that was going on in my head was Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Oh. I, I literally went into the Marvel Universe <laughs> because one thing you did hit on, that, that, that's, okay, that's where I lost track. Okay. You reminded me of Uncle Ben mm. and Spider-Man. There's a proverb that was made famous by Uncle Ben that says, with great power comes great responsibility. responsibility. And a lot, Period. a lot of people, they want the power, mm. but they don't want the responsibility. responsibility. They no, like to sir. point the finger mm -hmm. and say it's somebody else's fault. So I, I can kind of feel where, where you're going with that. Mm -hmm. and, and you have to focus on your worth. You need to know your worth mm -hmm. and remind yourself that if you feel you deserve to be with someone who's committed, mm -hmm. someone who's exclusive, then Baby, you, you, you've you already lost me from the beginning. This brother can't be the total package if he's not exhibiting everything. You just said he's the total package. Blah, 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 blah. But if he ain't committed to you, that's not the total package. So you sure you, you need to come to, a, you need to have oh. a, a come to Jesus, Jesus moment and figure out what you are mm -hmm. and who you want to be. Focus on not so much the quantity, because everybody out here getting getting it in. <laughs> swipe, swipe, I don't, swipe left, swipe right. I don't, whatever you're doing, they they, down, they, they, they they trying to get butt <laughs> booty naked, and they're so focused on the quantity of sexual partners and mm -hmm. the quantity of partners that they lose sight on the quality mm -hmm. of a relationship. Quality over quantity any day is where you want to be. It's about finding someone who's on the same page as you. It's about not just choosing anyone, but keeping a mindset that you'll attract that person who only wants to be with you and only you. That's where I'm going with this. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm back on track. Go. Oh, oh, it's my turn. Yeah, it's, your, oh, it's your turn. It's your, well, it's your, it's your you turn. know, <laughs> everything that you said is 100 percent correct. Um, like I have to go back to the whole responsible thing. You first off, if you don't trust this person enough to take care of your heart, then how can you request commitment out of them? I, I don't think I would be comfortable being with someone who I could entrust with my heart. And at any moment, he can take it and step on it and keep moving because he has no commitment to you. He committed to the streets. He committed to whoever, whoever he wants to be committed to at the moment. So with that being said, you have to find out who's going to work for you what's going to work for you, what the dynamic is that's going to mm -hmm. work for your love life. If this person is the total package, but he can't be committed to you, he like to rump around and he like to be for the streets and he like to, he can't keep his eyes focused on you and only you, then there is no commitment there, sweetheart. If he can't even stay focused on you, the commitment is has left the building and I don't know where it is, but right. it ain't in him. So with that being said, it might be time to just Slide along. You either break out the, the the book of communication and ask him where he really is with this relationship. Is he committed? Is he committed to moving forward in the future with you? And if he... Well, you know, I'm still young. I, I'm still trying to do... It's a no. It's a no. That's all. He don't even have to tell you no. That response right there is a no. Because you all you looking for is a yes or no. And if he can't give you that and it's a well, babe, you know, it's a no. And that's all.